Yeah, okay. I did get a, a kill at least. <laughs> I killed him, I killed him. Nice. Get fucking wrecked! Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I wanted to give you guys a few more tips regarding the tank hunter loadout of the attack plane. And that is because the main gun of this loadout basically is the very definition of a skill cannon. So I want to start off with how you can counter this. The QF1AA. Now basically how this works is very similar to with many other games where you fly. You have to be very skilled as a pilot to counter somebody who is using a weapon that requires absolutely no skill at all. Now my favorite way of doing this is of course to try to snipe the anti-air or the guy on the anti-air from extreme ranges. Now the obvious problems with ranges is of course that you have to calculate for bullet drop just like you have to do with like a tank or a sniper rifle if you shoot the target that is far enough away. Now the obvious way to learn this is of course to look at where your first shot lands and then adjust your aim accordingly. Here you see how my first shot lands in front of the anti-air, meaning that normally I should just aim higher. What you have to consider here is that the very difference from doing this from a plane like I'm doing here compared to doing this with a sniper or a tank is that while you are shooting you are also moving towards your target. Instead, you also have to take in consideration that your next shot is going to be fired from a closer distance. And that makes this a lot harder. Notice the difference from the first shot and the second shot, how I actually didn't adjust that much. Instead, I let the momentum of my plane moving forward be the adjustment that allowed me to deal a little bit of damage with my second shot. Now, obviously, it gets easier to hit the closer you are. Problem is, of course, that if you get close enough, the anti-air is just quickly going to kill you. I killed him. Now obviously you should learn how to do as much as possible and be as accurate as possible no matter what situation in third person view. But there are several problems with that, especially if you have the same plane settings as I do. Now the most obvious reason is the lack of a zoom, but also the higher field of view is going to make it harder for you to see where your shots actually land. This when you shoot at these crazy ranges. So yeah, needless to say, it's important to understand when you benefit from switching to first person view. Another obvious situation is when you're shooting another plane. And this video is going to showcase it that a few times as well, even though we actually covered that quite a bit in the last uh, Tank Hunter tutorial. Now if you missed the previous one, you can find it in the description. Uh, the splash damage, yeah, it's a, little, it's a little low, you have to hit, you have to land perfect shots. Oh! Ho 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 ho! Nice. Oh, there's two tanks by D. Let's wreck them. Oh, he tried to run over our our assault guy there. Yeah, he got fucking wrecked. <laughs> you want uh. to pick me up? I'm right where I was. All right, all right. An anti-vehicle kit is available. Yay! Nice. So now let me demonstrate the problem with the reticle when you fly in third-person view and why it makes it so much easier to be in first-person. Now obviously you can adjust for that once you know how it works. See that doesn't hit. That was a, that was a perfect example of why you can't be in uh, third person there. Unless you know exactly how to adjust them in. So now just like with the darts of the trench fighter, you want to learn as quickly as possible how the bombs which are your secondary are affected by the momentum from your plane. Here is a quite good example, and keep in mind that the vehicle here is also moving forward. Nice. Get fucking wrecked! He definitely knows we are on this side though. Yeah, 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 he does. But if he cannot see us, nah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah, it is better to do that way. So yeah, the strategy that we learned and mostly used with the trench fighter back in the days is something that works with this plane as well. It, it does work with the ground support also, but sometimes the dedication from your enemy team is a little bit too much. Oh, anti truck. Yeah, AA Fuck. truck, yeah. So yeah, a few more tips that hopefully is going to help you be more successful with the tank hunter loadout. I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. Yeah, I hope you it. will enjoy the rest of it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. So effective. If a good fighter comes and shoots you or anti shoots you, then yeah, you're screwed, but... Get fucking wrecked! Crazy. <laughs> he got wow. fucking wrecked. <laughs> Destroyed. Oh, nice. Nice. Hit it. Nice. He's wrecked. In front of us, in front of us. I see him. Disabled. Fighter, he's uh, in front of us. Whoa, nice. Thank you. Yeah. I think he's the one behind us. Oh, get fucking nice. wrecked! Nathan Rogue! Oh. With a $50 donation! Nice. Thank you so much, my friend, Nathan. Dropping in a 50. These donations greatly improve my sex life. Sex <laughs> life. I advise... They do, they do. I advise other followers to do the same, since I've been donating... I've been getting all the girls and they always get wrecked <laughs> after. <laughs> you see? You see guys? Yeah, we do. We, we put uh, like like squares on the football field and then we put the cow on there and you can guess where it's going to shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That's <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> you actually do that? We don't. Uh, it's not, not popular but it happens, you know? Uh, in the, the like the, the parts where, where there are a lot of farmers and stuff, they, they like to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so oh. gu guess the shitting cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Playing on E. I, that's why I couldn't read it also because I was I was so confused. I was like, I, I must be reading this wrong. That's exactly what it is. All right, you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna kill a guy. Oh, I thought you were gonna say we're gonna shit on a football field. <laughs> Speaking about cows, I just got revived by a guy with uh, the cow with cow as a clan tag. F on tire still. I got the anti air for you. Oh, nice. Uh, plane above D. It's above F now. Boom boom! Boom boom! tire. Yeah, oh yeah, F and tire. Uh, I'm using it. We have taken objective Edward. For that's the... Uh, that's the infantry, right? 
Yep, yep, yep. C. Plane ship here, yeah. Yeah. Plane behind us now. We're taking C. <laughs> oh, you got my kill. Yeah. Love it, the blind kills yeah. through the pl plane's body. Put that guy outside A. Oh, okay. Wait, is that a boat? Is that enemy boat? Yeah, it's boat. He's on a boat, motherfucker. Oh. That's infantry, that right? Yeah. Ooh. That's uh. By shooting people. Again, A. 42 on him. Are they up, uh, outside? Yeah, next to the entire careful. Oh, we have a teammate here. Yeah. D could be action. D, uh, like between D and E. There are snipers the... between B and A. Weirdly enough. Uh, Lingdorf, let me see, you have a small penis. No, I, I got it right, I got it right. <laughs> These shots, come on. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. They want the... They're really using the bots, oh fuck. Boom boom. Get fucking wrecked. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting the hang of this uh, baby. <laughs> hey, can you mark that uh, artillery truck is driving somewhere here? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to kill him. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't see the artillery truck. Nah, me neither. Oh, he bailed out to... If he... Oh, there's one here. Yeah. I turned too early. He's fast. Plane. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so funny. <laughs> Artie got killed also. Nice. Nice. Get fucking wrecked, guys.